Did people in medieval Europe wear glasses? You might be surprised to learn that eyeglasses are not a modern invention, but have been around for quite a while. Now, when we picture medieval Europe, we often think of castles, knights, plagues, and possibly a dragon or two. But what we miss is that even back then, humans were evolving various technologies, and eyeglasses were one of them. The historical trail of eyeglasses begins in Italy, which, let's be honest, is no slouch when it comes to contributions to human progress. It was roughly around the late 13th century that the first corrective eyewear began to pop up in Europe. These were not the sleek, titanium-framed pieces of art you see adorning people's faces today. No, they were pretty rudimentary. Typically two framed glass lenses that were held up to the eyes by a handle, sort of like a masquerade mask without the flare. These rudimentary spectacles were mostly for the rich and the scholarly because, well, reading was not a common pastime for your average medieval serf. For instance, imagine you're a monk painstakingly transcribing texts. It would save you a lot of squinting if you had something to clear up those blurry lines, right? Before I forget, Portland's got some great nooks filled with historical texts over at the Oregon Historical Society, where you could imagine what it'd be like reading without the aid of modern glasses. As the decades marched on, glasses evolved. They added arms that hooked over the ears, somewhat akin to what I've got parked on my nose most days while reading or writing here in Portland. However, glasses were still a bit of a rarity, and often a sign of intelligence or at least scholarly ambition. It's quite fascinating how such a seemingly small invention could affect society so significantly, helping physicians, scholars, craftsmen, and eventually the average Joe or Jane when the price and social acceptance began to allow it. So, in short, yes, people in medieval Europe did wear glasses, albeit a version that might look to us more like an antique than a practical tool. Just goes to show that necessity has been the mother of invention for longer than we often remember.